Hello people, yet again back with another new video. Spy Star Training Academy. What is this thing? Is it real? Will I actually get a placement as a cabin crew in this? Is it true that the job is actually guaranteed? So to solve all your queries about Spy Star Training Academy, I make this video and I hope that your doubts are cleared. In case I miss out on anything, please do let me know. For those who are unaware of what exactly is SpiceJet Training, uh, sorry, Spy Star Training Academy, it's actually a program organized by SpiceJet itself. Um, it's a tie-up with Amity University in Delhi, and uh, they offer courses alongside with giving you an offer for the job as well. Let's get into the depths of what exactly is Spy Star Academy providing and what exactly are their courses and all. So let's talk about the eligibility criteria about who all can apply for Spy Star Training Academy. So the minimum age required to join Spy Star Academy is 17 years and 19 months. Yes. Finally, people who keep messaging about uh, can I apply for uh, the job just because I am turning 18 next month so that doesn't mean I can't apply so yes now you've get, got an opportunity in case you want to apply for Spy Star Academy absolutely you can just go and apply even if you are turning a, uh, 18 next month so um, that's point number one the second point is your height should be 155 centimeters that's for females and for males it's 173 uh, 73 centimeters same as cabin crew the weight should be proportional to your height which is 18 to 22 um, the BMI range should be between 18 to 22 for girls and 19 to 25 for boys the eyesight acceptable is minus or plus 3 uh, that's the eyesight limit. Beyond that, it's a no-no. You should be fluent in the language English and Hindi. Only Indian nationals can apply. If you're not a citizen of India and you want to apply for Spy Star Academy, you can contact the HR. The number is given in the site, which I'll be mentioning in my video further on. The two courses that um, Spy Star Training Academy offers is BBA and MBA. People who want to apply for BBA need to have two mandate documents. That is... Uh, the pass certificate of class 10 and 12 and the mark sheet of class 10 in case you do not or you uh, or you are not able to provide the documents between the set timeline by Amity University they will have to reject your application and you will have to reapply again let's talk about the second course which is for MBA degree so for this the required documents are the mark sheet of your uh, graduation and the mark sheet of all the semesters that you have completed in whatever college you were in before so you require the mark sheet of all of them all the semesters you need the degree or provisional certificate of your graduation and the standard 10 plus 2 mark sheet and pass certificate which is uh, required for BBA course as well for people who have already applied for the examinations of class 12 they've completed with the examinations and now they're waiting for their mark sheet can also apply for the course that is BBA course however they have to provide the mark sheet or pass certificate of class 12 between the set duration which is given by MIT University they will be hired as students as well but that will just be for the time being which is temporary on temporary basis once you provide the mark sheet your admission will be confirmed a very important point which has to be kept in mind is that Amity, Unis uh, Amity University will be giving you the cutoff for your class 12. Uh, the marks or the percentage which has to be attained to uh, take admission for, uh, for the course will be set by Amity University. You'll get to know about it once you register online. So just a short reminder that do good in class 12. Now let's talk about how do you register for Spy Star Academy. You need to go to spystaracademy.edu.in. Here's the address for you. And you need to click on register, which you see on the top right hand side corner of the screen. Once you register, it will take you to a page which a registration form is uh, where a registration form will come up. You need to fill in that registration form where you need to mention your full name, your height, your weight, everything you need to mention over there. You need to also 
pay thousand rupees registration fee after you submit the registration form. Once you register and your application is accepted by Spice Star Academy, they are going to send you an email regarding your interview dates. Now let's talk about the interview rounds of Spice Star Training Academy. Is is just the same uh, procedure which is followed for the Spice Jet Cabin Crew interview as well. There are four rounds. The first round is the introduction round. It is an interactive session between the interviewer and the uh, candidate. So uh, the interviewer is definitely going to check your fluency in English, your personality, your voice and accent and everything. The second round will be the screening round where they are going to check your height and weight again. Whatever you have mentioned in the registration form, they are obviously going to tally uh, that whether your weight and height is the same. The weight might fluctuate maybe by 0.5 or 1 kg, that's okay completely but should be within the BMI range which is required. Okay, so that's done with the second round. They're also going to check your scar, your skin and everything, whatever is actually supposed to be checked in the medical round of the cabin crew interview, if you remember. The third round will be the GD round. However, this round might be conducted and might not be conducted depending upon the interview work. Uh, for this round, definitely, you know, I've also mentioned in my previous videos what can be the GD topics. You can check out my channel list. I've made a video about the questions and asked in a GD round of a cabin crew interview. The fourth round will be the personal interview where you will have a one-on-one -on -one session with the interviewer and then you finally get selected for the interview. So these were the four rounds which shall be conducted in the Spice Star Training Academy. Now once you are done with your interview, you are going to be sent for medicals which is going to be the same type of medicals which is conducted for a cabin crew interview. They are going to check your eyesight, they are going to check your hearing skills, um, your height weight might not be checked, may be checked and they are going to check whether you have got any um, health issues or not. So now that I've covered up all topics regarding how to apply, what are the interview rounds, what is the eligibility criteria, uh, let's talk about what happens during the training. So there are two courses as I mentioned previously, BBA course and MBA course. Now this is going to be a three year course for which you're supposed to pay 3.75 lakhs to Spice Star Academy. Spice Star Academy takes the responsibility of you giving examinations uh, during the three year tenure of your uh, graduation or post graduation okay for example you choose to apply for BBA course now you're going to do your BBA course for three years with Amity University in which you have to attend only 22 classes so this is actually it's like a distant education so just like an open university NIOS uh, they're going to send you for the for uh, for your examinations to a particular center the date will be mentioned everything will be given to you and uh, you need to apply for your examinations online your yearly semester examinations will be conducted online and the center and the date and the venue the address everything will be provided to you by Amity University itself your cabin crew training and your uh, graduation or post graduation is separate you will be having a six months cabin crew training unlike the normal cabin crew training which is of three months you'll be having a six months cabin crew training uh, in spice star academy itself okay for the first four months you shall not be provided any transport or anything for the last two months you shall be provided stipend along with 2500 rupees which is the transport allowance after six months of your training as a cabin crew you will be uh, eligible for the dgca approved examination which shall be conducted in spice star training academy and once you clear your dgca examination you shall start flying as a cabin crew so yes it is guaranteed that you are going to be uh, hired as a cabin crew the only difference is that this is a six months training course and if you go for a normal cabin crew interview and not with Spice Star Academy then you're going to have a three months training course last but not the least the training fees is 3.75 lakhs you can either choose to pay it uh, right away okay you can pay the full amount right away to Spice Star Academy or you can also break it up into a three year installment apart from this the entire responsibility of your examinations and everything will be taken care by Spice Star Academy and MIT University itself you do not have to worry that once you start flying whether they will give you offs for examinations whether they will give you any leaves for examinations to study or everything everything falls under the responsibility of Spice Star Academy and MIT University you will be eligible to sit for your examination by any means because that's what you paid for 
and that's all about Spice Star Academy and its courses. I hope I've covered up all topics as per my opinion. In case I've missed out anything, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my level best to clear your doubts. In case I've missed out anything, please let me know. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet. Please press the bell icon to know that whenever I upload videos, you get a notification like ding, just like that. Okay, and uh, DM me on Instagram if you have any queries regarding this video. Comment if you have any suggestions that you want me to add uh, further on in future in my Instagram stories or anything. I promise to reply to every one of you. It takes time, people. It takes time. Please give me some time. I'm sorry if I'm not being able to uh, reply as um, fast as I should. However, I really love all of y'all and thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this. Bye-bye.